just a coincidence, states where there will be extremely important elections happening this year. So the whole thing stinks. It just stinks. Yeah. Uh, and it's exactly what we expect from this administration, honestly. We, we've seen them do nothing but lie, cheat, and steal. That's just a fact. But now they're trying to steal our election. And this is our last chance to get them the hell out so that we can start moving our country in the direction it needs to be moving. They're trying to steal our election, but what are we gonna say to that? How are we gonna respond to that? Hell no. Repeat after me. Hell no. no way! No way! No way! No way! No way! No way! Resign! Resign! It is a service. It is not a business. It can't go bankrupt. It's too big to fail. It's our service, and we need to support it. So, Louis DeJoy lives in, in this really swanky apartment. Actually, the Washington Post wrote a whole piece about how this building is one of the swankiest apartment buildings in, in all of D.C. And he's probably got a lot of neighbors who maybe are not exactly happy about uh, folks coming to visit uh, him, and maybe, you know, he's probably not going to listen to us, maybe he'll listen to them. We got some ballots here, they're not real ballots, we're not committing <laughs> voter fraud here. We got some ballots here, and I'm going to invite y'all to come up, let's bring these ballots up to the front door and tell them that we need the ballots to get where they need to go this November! <laughs>
grandmother worked for the post service. It was the one reliable job that she had in her entire life. And this service, and it is a service, provides medicine for people. Are we really gonna cut people off right now from getting the medicine that they need? <laughs> to vote by mail to stay safe. Yeah. That's right. This rich guy thinks he's going to come in and they're going to make the post office dis disappear so that they can privatize it, so that they can try to make money off of it. But this is a public service! There were laws, there were laws that were changed that made it so that the post office could no longer break even. And those laws were changed over 10 years ago. We need those laws to be changed back. Renting out a condo here. He actually lives in, I think, North Carolina. Um, they, they come here and they think that they can buy everything. But we, we practiced a song earlier. I hope that y'all remember it. We'll sing it along with me. Well, I went down to the rich man's house and I took back what he stole from me. And I took back my humanity. And I took back my democracy. Now send them
to me. What the joy has done to me. He's undermined the Postal Service. Undermined the Postal Service. Things are only getting worse. Things are only getting worse. Mama, mama, can't you see? Mama, mama, can't you see? What the joy has done to me. What the joy has done to me. He wants to sabotage the post.
light. Before November, we're going to fight a lot harder. We're going to get a lot bigger. We're going to get a lot louder. On our march, march over here, we woke up some of the neighbors along that street. A few of them came out to join us. And that's what we're going to keep on doing. Wake up your neighbors, wake up your housemates, wake up your family members, wake up everyone around you with the noise that we need to fight back, we need to fight now, we need to fight tomorrow, we need to fight hard. We need to honor the legacy of black, brown, and indigenous people been fighting since 1492 when this nation was colonized by violence. We're going to fight back. We know that we keep us safe, that community keeps us safe, so we're going to demand what's ours. We're going to demand that Trump leave, we're going to demand that the joy leave, we're going to demand that liberty, justice, and freedom finally mean something for the first time in this country's history. Now that we'll be back. We'll be back!